Welcome back, welcome back to another Q-Tip Fridays. So Christmas is tomorrow. Wow. This shit just fucking flew by, man. I'm not too, too sure about y'all, but this shit has been a quick-ass year. Um, the only thing that helps me actually realize how much stuff I did through the entire year was photos. Photos, videos, and like content from what I recorded throughout the entire year. But if I didn't have those, it would be super hard to remember like what happened like my first month you know the first month of the year the second month like i don't know you know what i'm saying so much shit happened it's been crazy you know what i'm saying so i'm glad to actually still be sharing these Q-tip fridays i'm actually gonna still be you know trying to push these until next year and who knows how long you know what i'm saying so i'm glad that everybody's actually gaining some, some kind of value out of these videos because it's based off of What's, what's Q's thoughts? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it comes down to. So, this video, this video is called Save the Sob Stories. This, I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, all right? Save the Sob Stories. So, the reason as to why I'm making this video is because I feel like <clears throat> a lot of people always tie or attempt to tie, you know, Oh, he's now successful so there has to be like some kind of sad story that made him just super motivated to just want to do you know want to just keep on going you know what I'm saying um I feel like it's not necessary I feel like not everyone has a a rough past that they just regret so much um I don't feel like that that has to be a thing all the time, you know what I'm saying? And to even try to make it a thing every single time is like it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of annoying, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like people want to make others feel bad for them so they could feel more relatable or or something. I don't know, but even like when it comes to me, like I mean, I don't have a sob story. You know, like shit, I had a great childhood. <laughs> I had a great childhood. I, I did not struggle. I was not homeless. Nah. <laughs> like, I had a great family to um, that took care of me. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the case. Um, what kept me motivated? I just want to better. Like, shit. Like, y'all don't want better for yourselves? You know? So, it's not as if, like, I was... Even, like, when I was working at Target, like, I wasn't struggling. Not at all. I just wanted better. I just wanted more. Um, I wanted to actually be put in a spot that I could, um, you know, live how I want to live. And if I wanted to live how I want to live, then I had to pretty much change certain things that I was doing. If I didn't change those things, then I wouldn't be living how I want to live. So you got to pretty much just make sense of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you don't have to have this sad story, like, you know, this broken past and that kind of stuff just to add to your story to make it sound good. You know, like there's great stories that could pretty much just um, put it this way. A person's, you don't have to be that generation one of struggle. You know what I'm saying? That struggle could have been in your parents and then they pretty much broke out of that mold to then get to a point that their kids don't have to struggle. You know what I'm saying? Um, and many people can still be in that generation that second generation of things being this this passed over as far as like um who knows like i could i have been that second generation because my like my parents pretty much did what they had to do to pretty much get to a certain point to make their kids feel you know more secure with how they're going about things and all they got to do is just keep on going you know am i part of that generation too all right there's some people that's, you know, that's really in that generation one that pretty much has to be like that, that, that shift in their family, which is a great thing. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're able to actually be that shift in your family coming from broken past and that kind of stuff and pretty much then shift your entire family's dynamic. Cool. You're that generation one. But that does not mean that when you have kids eventually and that kind of stuff, they have to struggle. It does not mean that they have to have a sob story. No, nah, like. The sob story could come at one time in your family line that could have been friggin' four or five generations ago. You know what I'm saying? And, and then you're just carrying on this, th this path that 
your past family just set up for you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like just now, like, I mean, I did not have a troubled childhood. I did not have all all these things that pretty much, you know, can make a person feel sad for me and that kind of shit. But it's not always the case that you're going to have like this, this super, super sad, depressing past. And then you're going to have this great future. It's not always lined up that way. Like my setup is I had a great childhood. It was super fun. Um... But when I got into my adulthood, certain things couldn't flow like how I can't move like I'm a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's going to be times that I'm going to need more and that kind of stuff. So, like, that's what I actually want to better for myself. And um, once you actually realize that, like, obviously, well, hopefully you actually realize that and then start working harder to actually get to that certain point that, you know, you could sustain that success onto your 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 kids and kids kids that's the goal you know so like don't feel as if you know every single time that a person is super successful and everything like hey like what's your story it doesn't always have to be sad it could be super happy it could be super joyful and you're just carrying on something that was pretty much already started based off of your family your parents and that kind of thing you know what i'm saying so yeah like it, at times i I just feel like it's so annoying when people try to actually throw like certain things into into their story um, just to attract others, just, just to pretty much make it more appealing to the audience and that kind of stuff. Because is that does every fucking person have a sad story that I that I see successful now? Like because that that's what it sounds like. You know, and I don't feel like it's it's really necessary to actually make your audience feel sad for you because, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's very, very weird. You know, so it kind of, it kind of just comes to show me that um, if you pretty much just keep up with the route that, that you're going, like, obviously, you could pretty much be that that shift in your entire family to then, you know, make that the start of the success and that kind of stuff but um don't feel like you always have to be genuine you know what i'm saying you don't always have to be genuine genuine could have been in the past you know so figure that out you know what i'm saying figure that out figure out like like where you stand in your entire timeline like you know don't be a person that pretty much grew up in the suburbs and then all of a sudden they're talking about struggling and this and that this and that oh shit my life was so hard blah blah, blah. like you know like just taking <laughs> just Growing up in the suburb and feeling as if, like, they're growing up in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Just to make their story, feel, like, feel better. Like, I never, like me, like, I never grew up in the hood. I never grew up in the hood. All suburbs my my entire life. Honestly, you know, suburbs, 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 suburbs. All suburbs. You know what I'm saying? So I would never consider myself being at a point of struggle or being at a point of homelessness or just being unhappy, you know what I'm saying? All that it came down to was I got to a point in my life that I just want to fucking better for myself, you know? And I got, I, I had tools that could pretty much make me elevate beyond that certain point that I was at. And that's what I did. Was it, was I sad before that and that kind of stuff? Not at all. I was just as happy Everything, everything was cool, nothing depressing about my entire life. And yeah, like, I mean, yeah, don't feel like you have to have a sad story just because you want to grow. You know what I'm saying? It's never the case. And yeah, um, I feel like that kind of sums it up for this Q-Tip Fridays, honestly. You know, just um, be yourself. That's pretty much like the, 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 the biggest way on how to actually attract the audience, honestly, is just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to actually be like every single person that, that you come across on Instagram and 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 you want to pretty much attract others by like a sad story and yeah, like like my parents did this and this and blah, blah, blah and never. You know what I'm saying? Even like whenever people say, I came from nothing. Like really? Nothing? Do you know what nothing is? Nothing. Zero. <laughs> You could have less, but to consider yourself to have nothing at times is like, okay, okay, 
relax. You know, like there, there must have been something in your life to pretty much make you feel secure in some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? You had something going on, but it was less. It was not nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just even things like that. Like, you know, don't like, at, whenever a person says like they had nothing, this and that, this and that, it's like, imagine how, how your parents feel when they hear that, that kind of story. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they're like, damn, like I, I, our kids said that they, they grew up with nothing. Like, damn, but they were like, the parents was struggling or busting their ass to put food on the table and that kind of stuff. And like, you know, they had something, they had something. Was it as much? Maybe not, but it was, was it less? Cool. But it's never nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I always try to embrace that because it's kind of like you're being a representation of your parents. So if you're saying this and saying that, imagine how they feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, did they do their job? You know, that's what it comes down to. So, yeah, it's like watch how you actually, you know, put together your story and that kind of stuff because it does affect others as well. And um, it never has to be sad. You know, you can have a great everything and you just want to keep on being great. Simple as that, personally. You know what I'm saying? So, this is my cute to Fridays um, save the sob story. All right? So, I'm going to you guys. Leave feedback in the comments. Appreciate y'all. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next cute to Fridays. Peace out.